about some prefabrication and some uh, more time housing here, but I'm not going to have a chance to go through everything in the show directly. I do want to call your attention, though, to this wall. Uh, I mentioned the important role that Skidmore Owens and Merrill plays in the city. They were involved only with Oak Ridge, only one of the three secret cities, but uh, it is fair to say that Oak Ridge was the most influential, the most significant in terms of our story of the three cities. And uh, SOM had an interesting uh, uh, genesis. Uh, they really began working uh, as a result of some work together on the part of uh, Louis Skidmore and Nathaniel Owings at the 1933-1934 World's Fair in Chicago. Uh, and they continued to work together on the World's Fair in New York from 1939 to 1940. Uh, you see here the pavilion for uh, the country of Venezuela uh, at that World's Fair. That was the lead architect for that was Gordon Bunshaft, uh, who went on to design Lever House, went on to design the Hirschhorn Museum. Uh, so kind of uh, very slick and very geometrical in its way, but also with this exuberant uh, decorative element that you uh, see here on the canopy. Uh, I mean, it was, after all, the Depression. Uh, Skidmore, Owings & Merrill had, was struggling like most firms, although did better uh, than, than, than most others, partially because of their skill at a variety of scales already. Uh, they had also designed some kit houses, as you see here in these magazines, uh, and uh, had even been called on by uh, some of the, the major architecture journals to um, develop ideas for uh, kind of the, the prototypical house. Uh, distilling ideas that have been collected from a variety of firms. Middle River, Maryland, uh, outside of Baltimore, was the site of the Glen L. Martin Aircraft Company. Uh, if that name sounds familiar, think Martin, Martin Marietta, Lockheed Martin. That's the same company. And they had a new aircraft plant outside of, uh, of, of Baltimore and needed hundreds of houses for their workers. And SOM developed this experimental house called a Semesto, which was based on a cement asbestos board product and a kind of a, a, a semi-prefabricated system to build these houses very quickly. And you see here some photographs of these houses that were finished. One of the things that I also found, find fascinating, not to Oak Ridgers, if you say road versus lane versus drive, all of those things have very specific meanings because Skidmore, Owings & Merrill came up with a, a nomenclature for the street system, which first of all is in alphabetical order from one way, one direction to the other, and all the main streets, which are avenues, and they have roads coming off of them, and the roads all start with the same letter as the avenue, and all the lanes start with the same letter as the road. And, you know, there's a very structured sort of thing, so I, I think it's fascinating that uh, that's part of what uh, SOM considered to be its job, was to create this structure which they really felt was important for clarity and for easy, ease of wayfinding in this new community, and that seemed very logical to them. So in a way, it was their version of 1st Street, 2nd Street, 3rd Street, except it was, uh, you know, they were named after states, so you have Illinois Avenue, etc., uh, and then all the streets off of Illinois Avenue also started off.